Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. We're here to finish off the rest of this movie in part three. Arrow takes care of those pterodactyls, and they take good care of him, too. And there's no possible way they would handle his weight. Anyhow, he uses the tail to knock down a tree and take them out. And last is Thunderclap and use his mighty war. Spot rips a hole into his wing and Aro uses the stick and knock him down with his amazing throw attack. Ranging River starts to hit both of them come right to the water and then go down a waterfall but Aro same spot just a nick of time before they both drowned it it's kind of strange that his father died but Yet his son, Arlo, survives a fall. And I always find this one very amusingly touching. And yet pretty sad at once. That he saved Spot from drowning and getting eaten by those creatures. And we finally get to see... Spot's family, and they look a bit different than him. They also sound four legs just like him. I like Spot, but they don't say a word at all because I guess they didn't have the budget to have voice acting besides Spot again growling sounds. But I got mad this sounds very emotional and like any type of film oh no like old yower her just let Spawn go and be with his family. And it's very sweet. He yeah, has to let him go. I love how they play the music. I think to make it very heartwarming moment. Look at that, they still have two legs. Just like a normal bean. It's okay to make him do a circle around them. And I actually like how he doesn't say a word. Or just to make this scene very, very a tearjerker moment for children to watch this scene. So, yep, he made it home. And our movie wraps up. Up when he finally gets his mark. And that was a good dinosaur. I like it. The animation's good, voice acting perfect, beautiful backgrounds, perfect music. Animation actually looks pretty nice to look at. 
characters are pretty interesting, but once you see them, they're off and go gone. But still, I don't think this is the worst Pixar movie, but it's actually okay. I like everything about this movie. Sure, those of you can agree or disagree with me. But I think this movie was actually not half bad. It's actually an award for it. Good. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually one of my most favorite movies out there. It's been one of my other things to review of pretty good Pixar movies. These of Monsters Inc., Toy Story, even. Even Finding Nemo. But someday I'll talk about an interesting Disney movie in the near future. It's actually pretty better than good dinosaurs. So I to give this movie me a good grade of 7 out of 10. And since it's only like an hour and 30 minutes, it's actually nice to talk about this movie for a change. Sure, everybody already talked about this movie already to death since 2015 when it first came out. But in the near future, I will talk about a um, very fantastic film that's already been done years ago. Well, for young kids. I would say this will be pretty much worth your time. I'm seeing. I mean, I really like the designs and the movie's backgrounds and the dinosaurs. Had to look a little bit goofy at times, including the eyes. So, yeah. Still an interesting movie to watch for young children's ages. And that's all I can talk about for now. It'll be very. That's an emotional movie. I'll see you guys when I talk about an interesting film in the near future. And I'll be reaching out to my 900 video in a momentary. <laughs> I'll see you guys. He's on the next review. So, see you around, awesome subscribers. <laughs> Yeah then.